Hey guys, you're OSMVTXtrues.com. You're watching a video review of the Olympus VN1000 SE. This is a digital voice recorder that offers up to 16 hours of high quality video recording for you to use at different conferences, at notes, perhaps at school, at different lectures and events. The good thing about this particular model is it's affordable. At only $50, um, 16 hours of audio recording is actually pretty decent for the cost. Um, of course, this isn't as a high quality model as we've seen from other manufacturers like Sony, but again, it also costs significantly loss less, and you can actually purchase it at stores such as Target, Best Buy, and also Amazon.com. The actual device itself comes in a silver color. You can also get it in black, and the side of the device features a actual uh, uh, pin for you to actually to clip onto your uh, different jeans pockets and also for different bags. It's pretty easy to take with you on different occasions. The device also offers a built-in speaker on the back, which is a very loud speaker, so you can actually listen back to your recordings directly on the device. If you don't want to do that, however, the top of the device features a 3.5mm headphone jack for you, to, for you to listen in private. It also features a dedicated uh, microphone for you to record your devices and your um, surroundings, but you can also plug in a dedicated pair of microphones to, pr to provide more high-quality audio recordings. This is a pretty unique feature to have because most... Uh, Low-cost voice recorders tend to only have a built-in recorder microphone and not the ability to extend by plugging in a more professional stereo pair of uh, microphones onto the unit. That said, the VN1000 series does not offer a uh, does not offer a compatibility with a computer um, via a USB transfer host, and as a result, it's pretty difficult to get your audio recordings out of the unit um, by, by transferring into a computer, for instance. Uh, you can really only listen back to this stuff onto the device, and that's essentially it. It's a pretty much an enclosed unit, an enclosed system, so those looking for a more advanced system will probably have to look elsewhere. The front of the device features a 1.5-inch monochrome display that's actually pretty easy to use. The right, left-hand side features a power on and off switch, also dubbed as a hold switch. And also the right-hand side follow, uh, uses a volume rocker for you to actually adjust the volume for the speaker on the back. The unit powers on AAA batteries, and it's pretty easy to replace. Battery life is pretty strong, coming in at around um, 50 hours of recording before you have to recharge them, which is pretty good. And as far as functionality, it's pretty easy to actually navigate through. It saves your recordings in four different separate folders. You can actually navigate and set forth, which is pretty nice. The screen is bright and vibrant and pretty easy to read, even though it doesn't have a backlight. Pressing the record button will start the recording. Hello, this is a test of the voice recording functionalities. They're an LED that will tell you that the voice is actually recording. Pressing stop will actually stop it. Pressing record again will pause your recording. It tells you also the amount of time that's left on your voice recorder on the very bottom of the device with the battery indicator on the top and also a quality for the voice recording on the left hand side of the unit. And you can see here this is the voice recording number one that we just saved. We can play back our devices uh, by pressing the play key. You can hear how the sound quality is a little bit muffled for our taste. However, this is the low quality version of our sound recording, and also through the monochrome, um, the monotone speaker on the back is a little bit weak. However, you can also use a pair of 3.5 mm jacks, which also works a lot better in terms of sound quality if you plan on using this for different concerts and singing occasions. Again, the navigational race is risen above the surface of the device. It's pretty easy to press, including the skip tracks, also the enter keys, display keys, and erase keys, and also the menu buttons. Overall, it's a pretty intuitive and easy to use system. We would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a low cost solution to record memos in a dedicated unit. However, you're looking to transfer your recordings to a computer afterwards, this particular model by Olympus will not do the trick. Thanks for watching this video review here at osmvtxreviews.com.